Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon Bias from ChichaCheka.com and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, real quick, <laughs> before I get into the tutorial, um, I'm just going to go ahead and explain my desktop background here. So last week when I was in California, Eli decided to make the tutorial for Tutorial Tuesday and at the end of the tutorial, he basically asked some of you guys to, um, I don't know, like just comment saying that you missed me and that you wanted to see my nipples. So, oh geez, I decided to <laughs> play along and, um, you know, make my desktop wallpaper my nipples for this tutorial. So here they are in full 1080p glory. All right, so I'm, I'm just, I'm done showing off my nipples. Let's just go ahead and, uh, and get <laughs> into the tutorial. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going over today. It's basically turning someone into this water elemental or Aquaman or being of water or whatever the heck you want to call it. I don't know. I haven't come up with a title yet, but this is essentially what we're going to be making today. And to get this done, you're going to need to start off with basically two pictures. So one of the pictures is basically just you wherever you want to be. In this case, I'm just coming out of a pool. And then the next picture is the same exact shot, but without you in the frame. So one with you there and one with you not. Pretty simple, right? So go ahead and bring those two photos into Photoshop. And it'll take a moment to load because these are kind of big pictures. And so the first thing you want to do is basically make a mask around yourself in the picture where you're in the frame. Now, this takes a little bit of time to do, especially if you've got a large photo and lots of craziness in the background. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip that step and open up a mask that I made earlier. So that way it's just going to speed up the, t the tutorial in general. So once you've masked yourself out, go ahead and right click the layer and click duplicate layer. And we'll just save this as a mask original or something like that. And then for the document, just select the document where um, you basically are not in the picture already. So in this case, it's image 8211 and hit OK. And then I'll go ahead and close this out and we'll go back to um, image 8211. So we've got two layers here now, the one without me there and then the mask with me. And so now we're ready to proceed to the next step. So let's go ahead and duplicate this mask original by hitting Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac. And I'm just going to rename this to Brandon. And let's turn that off. And let's go ahead and desaturate this layer by clicking this thumbnail over here and hitting Control Shift U or Command Shift U if you happen to be on a Mac. And so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make me look like I'm kind of watery in a way. So the way we're going to do that is by going to Filter and we'll go to the Filter Gallery. And then under the Artistic section, make sure you go to Plastic Wrap. And then let's go ahead and move over so I can see myself. So with this, it's all basically a matter of opinion. You just uh, move the sliders left and right to get a look that you think looks pretty good. But I'm going to keep the settings at a highlight strength of 15, a detail of 11, and a smoothness of 6. And with that, I'll hit OK. And so there I am. I'm a little watery looking now. And so now I'm going to go ahead and put this layer into a group by hitting Control G or Command G if you're on a Mac. And I'll just rename this to, uh, it's just, it's a me, Brendan. There we go. <laughs> All right, so once you've got that named, um, go ahead and click and drag the layer mask from your layer up onto the group. So that way this entire group is masked. And so go to the layer right here. In this case, I have Brandon. And we're just going to change that blend mode to hard lights. And then go ahead and duplicate that layer by hitting Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac. And that will just kind of intensify the overall look that we've got going on here. So um, at this point, you might want to go ahead and start masking some of the areas that might be a little too bright. So in my case, um, the center of my knee and my leg and my foot over here are a little too bright. So I'm going to go to the Branded Copy, add a layer mask to it, and then go to my brush tool by hitting the letter B. And with my foreground color set to black, I'll just go ahead and get rid of some of these parts here. So that way it's not quite so bright. And I'll bring some of that back. There we go. So anyway, I just kind of put that mask on so that way that it wasn't so, so bright in certain areas. 
and so we're actually pretty good on that aspect so let's go ahead and move on to the next step which is making um, making you blue so there's a photo that I grabbed online I don't exactly remember where I got it but it's uh, it's this picture of water and if I find it I'll put the link in the description for you and so we'll just keep this simple with the move tool we'll click and drag this down, up and down into our document here so let's bring up the transform tool by hitting control T or command T if you're on a Mac and while holding the shift key let's turn this off to the side here uh, maybe we'll do yeah we'll do this side and let's go ahead and size this down and maybe put this somewhere right here so that way it's uh, the right size and all that and we'll hit the check mark there to commit those transformations and let's go ahead and change the blend mode of this to hard light as well and let's go ahead and put this into a group again with control G or command G and we'll call this water and let's rename this to top and we'll make a duplicate of that rename that to bottom and then we'll click and drag that down into the right so that way it's right here over the torso or sorry that's the torso this would be like my legs and all that <laughs> what awful terminology all right so anyway now that you've got the water uh, basically covering the entire body what you're going to want to do is go to the layer mask of the of the group where you've got the the two copies of you and with the layer mask selected, go ahead and hold the Alt key or the Option key if you're on a Mac and drag that up to the water group right there. And so now let's add a layer mask to the top and the bottom layers. I'm going to rearrange these just because it, it makes more sense to have top and bottom. And so anyway, with those layer masks, let's just go ahead and make it so that these blend a little bit better. So I'm going to mask off the lower half of the top section right there. And then I'll take the bottom layer right there and I'll mask off the top area. So that way I know that they're not going to have any harsh edges or anything of the sort. And so we've got something kind of decent looking, but we need to mess with the mask a little bit more to make this look a lot better. Because obviously the edges are way too harsh and uh, it's just not blending very well. So let's just go ahead and go to the layer mask of the top layer right here. And I'll size down my brush. And I'm just basically going to go around the edge with my brush to mask off the edge of the water. And I'll get rid of all the water that's in my hair. And then I'll continue down my back, my shoulder, there, my elbow there. And then we'll go to the bottom right here. And I'm not going to worry about the pants on that, but I will mask off the edge of my legs right there and do the same thing right here and then let's go ahead and bring some of this back there we go very nice so there we go I just went ahead and really quickly went around the edges of both of those masks so that way um, that way they look like they blend a little bit better but now the next part is a lot more tricky um, the thing I would do is go to your brush tool and lower the opacity down to like I don't know 50 percent maybe a little lower a little less or maybe a little more than that and then just basically go to the parts that look like they're they're just a little too harsh so maybe on this knee right here um, it's a little too harsh so oops there we go switch switch to bat black la 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 and start getting rid of some of these and maybe in this leg over here just basically get rid of parts of the water that need to look like they need to be a little more see-through so here are my hands and we'll go to the top layer and get rid of this in my arm maybe a little bit uh, okay maybe not so much in the chest and I'm definitely going to get rid of some of the water in my face because that just looks a little silly. All right. So, I don't know, just kind of go through and mess with the masking a little bit to make everything blend a little bit better. And you know what? I might even go back to um, the pants over here and let's go to the layer mask on there and maybe make the pants a little bit more see-through as well. Because they are a little bit dark there. 
All right. So um, just kind of kind of tweak with the masks and make them blend a little bit better. Um, there's no real way to like explain that better to you guys. It's all a matter of um, it's all a matter of like opinion and kind of like an artistic feeling that you gotta get. It's it's not something that I can just teach you. You just kind of have to experiment with it on your own and just kind of see what you got going that you know just feels right. All right, that's that's what it takes to be an artist. Just do whatever feels right and looks pretty good to you. Now uh, to kind of finish this off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close up these groups and select the top hand group and I'm going to click and drag in this picture of bubbles that I've got going on right here and so I'm just going to put these over here uh, where my chest would be and I might turn them a little bit and somewhere right there is looking pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the blend mode of this to um, lighter color. And then I'll add a layer mask onto it. And let's go ahead and put the opacity on my brush back up to 100%. And basically just mask this so that it, it blends with you a little bit better. So I'll get rid of all these. And let's try and get rid of all of these blue splotches and stuff. Um, if you want to, so you can take lots of time to um, go through the blend modes and see if anything works a little bit better for you. But um, with this with this picture, um, a lighter color seems to work better than I don't know any of the other ones that I worked with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of roughly do some of these. You know what? I'll just get rid of some of those in general. Get rid of a lot of these bubbles. It's a very time-consuming process, unfortunately. So anyway, um, I'm just going to keep this pretty simple. I, I don't want to get too into this, but I do want to get rid of most of this blue so that we can kind of get an idea of how it's supposed to look in the end. Um, but again, it's all like a matter of opinion. You just kind of do what, what looks good, what feels good and all that. And shoot, you might even want to put like a, uh, what's it, what should we call it? Maybe a, a color adjustment layer on top of that, kind of tweak with the colors a little bit. Just, you know, just kind of mess with it, see what you think looks pretty good and hopefully it blends okay. Awesome. So now we've got the water on there and it's looking all right. Um, of course, you would spend a lot more time on it on your end to make things look um, you know, nice and pretty. Obviously on this original one here, I spent a lot of time on this. I mean, let's, let's see if I can even, I mean, look, look at all this craziness I did just on the pants. It's just all kinds of different shades of gray to get that different, um, different look. And of course, the the different shades of gray on the the water and all that. So anyway, it's it just it just takes a lot of time uh, tweaking the mask to make things blend a little bit better, and it's a lot of experimentation to get it to look just right. So it's it is a process, but just kind of work through it, and hopefully you get something that looks pretty good. But in the end, uh, we still have a, a little bit left to do. So let's go back to this um, this original here. And let's just rename this to um, let's rename this to shadow because I do want to bring back that shadow that I had going on over here. So let's go back and bring in some whites and let's start bringing in that shadow. There we go. And let's go ahead and switch to black and get rid of myself. Let's be careful not to get rid of the shadow here. All right, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that, and that looks pretty good in general. So let's go ahead and select the actual thumbnail of the layer itself and not the layer mask. And let's go to Filter, and let's uh, do the Filter Gallery at the very top of the list again to reapply that, um, what was it called, the, the plastic wrap, so that way it kind of affects the, the shadow and all that. But let's go back to the layer mask and start getting rid of the plastic wrap that we don't want to see. Now I'm being really sloppy here. Whoops. Um, obviously, you would um, be a lot more careful to not make the edges of the shadow look really faded or anything like that. But I'm just trying to do this as quick as possible. I mean, we're already like nearly 15 minutes into this, so um, I don't want to spend too much time on it. So there you go. Um, now you've got your shadow. It looks a little bit uh, watery. Uh, that way, it kind of reflects the water that um, that you look like you're trying to you know reflect onto the ground there. And we'll go ahead and put the fill on this down 
so that way it's a little more see-through looking and maybe we'll add a color overlay let's actually click the thumbnail on that again so we'll do a color overlay uh, where is it at there we go and then we'll go ahead and sample one of these bluish colors over here and we'll change the blend mode to overlay right there so that way it looks kind of bluish and all that uh, maybe we'll tone that down a little that looks pretty good right there I've got around 25 percent ish area and so there we go now we've got our shadow we've got the water and we've got some bubbles in our chest now the last thing that I want to add is a little bit of distortion to the background because let's face it we're looking through water so everything that you see through me should be a little distorted in one shape or another so let's go out to the background layer and duplicate that and let's just rename this to wave because that's exactly what we're going to be doing we're going to add a wave filter so let's go to filter distort wave and so uh, this is going to take a little bit more experimentation because it's different from picture to picture but um, the number of generators I'm using is at 5 with a min and max of 10 and 120 and then another min and max of 5 and 35 and then the scale is set to 50% on the horizontal and the vertical and make sure the type is set to sign with the undefined area set to repeat edge pixels and you can click randomize a couple of times but it doesn't really matter so get something in the in that area with the settings and all that and hit OK and so just kinda of focus on whatever it happens to be uh, where you are and see if you like that distortion and if you do uh, go ahead and go to the layer mask of either the water or the it's a me Brandon layer and hold the alt key or option key if you happen to be on a Mac and drag that to the wave layer and so that way it's just masked to you and so let's just get a close look maybe browse around see if we can notice any distortion especially here in the leg I actually like that I think it's looking pretty good and so let's just do a quick glance through everything so we got we got the waves we got the shadow we have myself and we've got the two layers of water and we've got the bubbles so um, it looks like we're actually done with everything that we wanted to do so um, I know that this wasn't exactly a um, you know a step-by-step -step tutorial kinda like like the previous ones this uh, general effect is definitely a lot of experimentation I've said this a lot but that is exactly how this is this is how art works you gotta you know tweak with things and make things blend in a way that you think looks pretty good uh, of course I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this so it looks kind of crappy in in one way or another but you can see in the original that it actually looks and blends really well so if there's anything that you want me to upload for you guys to download go ahead and let me know by leaving a comment in the comments section below and hopefully you guys learn something new from this tutorial and hopefully you guys get an effect that you think looks pretty good on your own pictures and with that, I will go ahead and talk to you guys later, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday.